Hi, I'm Carol Corey. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to my Creating Corner. I'm really glad you found me here. If you click subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll find out the next video I post and then we can have fun again. But let me not get ahead of myself. What are we doing today? Let me tell you, I am nuts about this card, which is using the nuts about squirrels. So look how cute. Now this version, I did use the Late Summer DSP from um, Beauty of the Earth Designer Series Paper Pack. It's green just starting to turn gold. And on the inside, I stamped with the Pear Pizzazz um, ink for the little leaves inside. But what we're going to be doing today is using the um, fall colors of the Designer Series Paper. And this one, I, you see I made a, like a little signpost instead of the happy hey there. This one is the little signpost. We're not doing that today. We are going to be doing the um, fall colors. But, and on the inside, we take um, some, a special technique. It's called the baby wipe technique. And that's how we get the fall colored leaves to stamp. But wait for it. Look at this. Isn't that just the cutest? Can't you just see the smile that this card is going to put on someone's face? Well, I have a different idea about what I want to do at the front of this card. I haven't done it yet. We'll be doing it together. So, let's get started and see what we can come up with. Alright, so I am using the Designer Series Paper, Beauty of the Earth. And just look at these beautiful designs we have. Here we've got um, just lines of trees, which are great to just add to a card front. Uh, different varied um, colors of green. Look at these beautiful fall branches. Some more summery looking foliage. And here's a nice wintry, icy looking piece. I love this. I really do. I love that one. Um, a nice sky background. This is perfect for just some quick card fronts. Cut down the middle and cut into card front panels. Perfect. And this one you have like you can look and you see sort of like trees in there. And then here's the late summer um, foliage. Here's the wood panel which we will be using and the more fall colored. Um, designer series paper and this is what we'll be using also so let me get these out of the way okay and see exactly what we're using here okay so first we have some basic white measured at four by ten and three quarters we have a slice of crumb cake at four and a quarter by eleven we also have a nice scrap of crumb cake, and this is one and a half by five, okay? And then the wood grain um, designer series paper is two by ten and three quarters. I also have a six by six piece of the um, autumn colored designer series paper, and we're going to be using this to cut the canopy inside the tree as well as the leaves to decorate the front. Okay, the stamp sets of course nuts about squirrels but I'm also going to use the birch stamp set, the birch stamp um, and of course if you're using the birch stamp let's go ahead and use the bark 3D embossing folder. Huh. The layering diorama dies. Let me tell y'all, I love these dies. I'm using the third from the center, and I use these dies on just about every card that I have made since these dies came out and available. I love them. And then for the leaves, I'm using the gathered leaves dies. There are um, some leaves in the Forever Flourishing die set, so you know whatever, whichever leaves you prefer. Um, will work fine. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, well, let's look at the inks we're going to use. For the squirrel, we're going to use gray granite and basic gray. The basic gray will be for the detailed part and the gray granite to fill it in. 
if our squirrels around here are gray, if you live where you have red squirrels, then the Cajun Craze and Cinnamon Cider will be perfect for stamping your squirrels. And of course we're going to be using some crumb cake ink, some early espresso ink, and a little bit of Sahara sand. Alright, um, we will be using some ink refills, the pumpkin pie, pear pizzazz, merry merlot, and cajun craze. And we'll get to that after a little bit. But let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with our card front. Let me get these out of the way. Okay, now for our card front, we're going to make sure that we have it folded, so we're only doing the front. Now, mind you, this is going to be a portrait card, so it is up and down. So when you're stamping with your birch, make sure that you've got your um, bark going the correct direction. So when we stamp with a, we always have the larger thing on the bottom. If the stamp is bigger than the stamp pad, that means the stamp will be on the bottom and we just ink it up. There we go. Now I'm going to put this under here. Okay. Making sure that the bark is going in the correct direction. And we just stamp. Now we will have to stamp more than once because it's not going to be able to reach all the way to the bottom. Go. Let's just kind of get it again. There we have nice wood texture. Okay. Now that we have that stamped, let's go ahead and emboss it to add a little bit more texture. Now I want to show you about the embossing. With our new stamp and emboss machine, well, let me leave that down. Oh yeah. With our new stamp and emboss machine, you really can't make a boo-boo. On your base, I'm going to move this out of the way. On your base, it tells you what you need for whatever you're doing. If you're going to be um, just cutting a regular die, it tells you you need the base, which is number one, and then number two, and then two threes, which are your cutting plates. Now, I recommend that you label one of your cutting plates to be used on the top alone. Um, it just, it's just easier that way you don't get them so used that you can't see what you're doing under there. You see how it gets so cut looking? You want one that's relatively easy to see through. So that's why I always label one top plate. Okay, but for embossing, um, down here using the if you're using standard embossing folders, you'll use the base, and then you'll use plate number three. Put your embossing folder, and then another plate three on top. I'm using the um, Bark, which is a em dynamic embossing folder. So here I see I have my base, which is number one. Then I'm going to set my embossing folder in here. Now remember, you've got your um, direction of the bark here. Make sure you're going the right direction. Okay? So I'm going to put that in there like that. Put it here on number one. And then number four, which is the embossing um, pad. I'll put that right on top. Now just like this is how I will put it in my stamp and emboss machine. Run it through. And here we have a nice embossed textured front. Okay, while I have my stamp and emboss machine out, I'm going to go ahead and cut the hollow in the tree. Okay? So let me get my die out. Oops, I just dropped it. Okay, so I'm going to get my die out. I'm going to put base number one. 
and I'm cutting so I want base number two and then my bottom plate I'll put my paper in there then I'm going to figure how I want this. I think I'll have it this direction. And my pull it through a little bit more. Then my top plate. And now send it right through and that's going to cut easily the um, hollow in the tree. Let's bring it back. See what we got here. Let me get all these pieces out of the way because I am about done with that. Now we're going to save this piece. Okay, we're going to be using that for something else in a few minutes. But okay, so we're done with this front, and we're going to put that aside. Now for the inside, we're going to take our um, white piece. And we're going to put it in, okay, this is going to be coming, let's give it a nice crisp, there we go. This is going to fold up. We want this on the inside to fold down. Now, to make sure that we have the squirrel in the right place where we can see through the hollow of the tree, we're just going to take a pencil and make just super, super little light lines just to make sure that we get the squirrel in the right place. The reason that I'm not going to stamp through the opening is I don't want to risk a piece of the squirrel catching on the edge and then that would look kind of silly. So let's go ahead and find the squirrel that's holding the acorn. We're going to do the detailed part of this squirrel in basic gray and remember it's going to be folding down so you want to make sure you have your paper going the correct direction okay um, let's use a stampin pad it's always good to use a pad underneath your stamping when you're using a photopolymer stamp okay so let's put this cheery little guy right there. Okay. Get this closed and out of the way. And now with the gray granite, we're going to fill him in. As I said before, we have gray squirrels here. If you live in an area of the country where you have red squirrels, if you use the um, Cajun craze, and the cinnamon cider, you'll have a perfect little red squirrel. Okay, so we line him up. It's a photopolymer, so you can see right through where you're going. And put him down. There we go. He's cute. He's very cute. Okay. Let me shut that. We are going to be using that again in a moment. But let me take my simple chamois and clean these steps off just so I don't end up with an oops and get ink everywhere. Okay, put those out of the way. There we go, there we go. Now I'll just take my eraser and I'll just erase these little lines. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside because this matches this one. Now for what I want to try with my front, I had to go ahead and get started on that earlier and so this squirrel matches exactly where the opening in my other card front is. I hope that makes sense. Um, I have another card front here. So this is matching that opening. Ah, I'm dropping leaves everywhere. Alright, now Let's go ahead and finish the front. Um, um, this piece. Okay. So, down here on the bottom, in my early espresso, I'm going to stamp Nuts About You. 
Isn't that so cute? That's about you. Okay. And we're going to put a little branch across the top. I always like to stamp standing up. I'm going to put the little branch across the top there. Now, while I've got this side like this, I'm going to go ahead and open my Sahara sand. And I've got the veins for the leaves. I'm going to go ahead and stamp some veins for the leaves on my branch and maybe a couple falling down. Okay. And I've got a little smudge there, so I might put a leaf on top of my smudge. Okay. Now, let's get that closed. Let's get my branch wiped off on my simple chamois. On the inside of this, okay, now remember, this is going to fold down. So now we're going, now that we have the fronts of this panel stamped, you have to do your stamping before you do the inside. Um, we're going to take our um, wood grain. And we're going to put it in here, but we are not going to glue it down as is. We're going to kind of freehand cut so that it'll look sort of like a tree going up. We need to leave room down here to put our little ground squirrel. So let's make sure my little ground squirrel can fit there. And he can. So let me take my paper snips. And I'm going to cut my little strip here to mimic the edge of a tree. Trees aren't necessarily perfectly straight. That's why I'm not worrying about using my um, Stampin' Trimmer. Now that we've got the tree cut, I have this 2x4 piece of our Designer Series paper. And this is what I'm going to use to cut my canopy with. Now I'm going to put this right here, and I'm just going to kind of draw on here what I think maybe the trees would look like. Okay, let's... Yeah, if you need some good scissors for cutting little things, I'm telling you these um, Stampin' Snips are really perfect. So let's see how that looks. Well, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so we're ready to attach this. Okay, I'm just going to grab some glue. You notice the... Did I mention before that our designer series paper is double-sided? Yeah. So, let me just get some of this glue on here. And... Oops. Let me get that. Oh, definitely need to get that glue off of there. Um, it's going to be sticky if I don't. Let me get this glue off before I do my stamping. Okay, there we go, there we go. Alrighty, and I guess we can put the canopy on here also. Alrighty, maybe not use quite as much glue and make sure to not drop it this time. There we go. Alright, now. Now we're ready to put our cute little ground squirrel. Again, the detailed of it will be done with the gray, with the basic gray. Stamp it off. You notice I'm just touching it to it. I'm not pushing and smushing. 
tap, 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 not push and smush. So there's, he's just got the cutest little grin. What a mischievous little smile he has. Okay, so I'm done with my basic gray. Let me clean this stamp off. It's always a good idea to clean your stamps as soon as you're done with them so that you don't accidentally put uh, something important down on top of it. Okay. Here we go. We're going to fill him in with the gray granite. Again, it's a photopolymer, so it's really easy to see through and line up. Cute, cute on cute. All right. While I have it open, let me go ahead and stamp the inside sentiment. Inside, we're going to put, hope you're feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And we're going to do that in early espresso. Yeah, hope you're feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Go, and I'm going to put that right above the fold line. Perfect! Clean this one. I love this simple chamois. It just takes all the excess ink right off so easily. Okay, now let's get our leaves, our falling leaves, with our Sahara sand. Just put a couple leaves falling down. And don't worry if you're getting a leaf at a place where you would be writing. You write right over it. Okay? It's not a problem. Okay. So let's put that aside. Now, how are we going to do the leaf fill in, that multicolor? Here's how we do that magic bit. With our inks and a baby wipe. I'm going to put another baby wipe on here just for giggles. Okay. And your baby wipes don't have to be moist. They can still be dried. You know, they can be a dried out baby wipe. So whatever old pack of baby wipes you have, that's fine. So now we're going to take our refills, our Stampin' Refills, and we're just going to drip it, drop it, drap it, here, there, and everywhere. Okay. Here's the Merry Merlot. And this is going to be a new stamp pad. This is going to serve as our ink pad. Excuse me, that one was the Cajun Craze. Here's the Mary Merlot. And you see it kind of blends all in together. And let's get some pear pizzazz to kind of finish it out. Okay. This is now my new stamp pad. With my stamp that's the inside of the leaf, I'm going to stamp it on there and look at that. It gives me the fall look. So let me bring my card back to me. And I'm going to tap, tap, tap. And then I'm going to put it right over the Sahara Sand leaf veins. You can see the leaf vein kind of through it. If you want to stamp it off a little bit first and then stamp, you can do that. Um, stamp, stamp, stamp. There we go. Look how pretty these turn out. Don't these just look beautiful? Okay, let me grab a baby wipe from my fingers. 
And that's something you might need a, a wet baby wipe for. Keep your fingers clean. Okay. And on the front, on the other side of the panel, remember that's we had some more, so let's go ahead boop, 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 and fill these in. I just love this baby wipe technique. It's so nice how you can get such pretty colors, you know, and it's really good if you're going to do something like underwater. You know, um, makes for a nice technique for the water or the sea creatures. There we go! There we go! Isn't that just so pretty? Okay, so let's go ahead and put these things away. Out of the way. Alright, now, with that paper there, we gotta bend it again. And I did kind of go over the edge a little bit, so I'm going to take my stamp and snip and trim it off so you don't see it through. I mean, it's just paper. It's not a big deal. You just trim off what you don't want. There we go. Now, now we need the leaves leaves. And, right, if you wanted you could always just use this pad and um, use some leaf shapes if you want. Just use that to put some on some white paper and then cut out with leaf shapes. I'm just cutting out from my designer series paper. And that's what we're going to be decorating the front with. Okay? So let me go do that, and actually, I've already done that. So here we go. I am really getting through with this card. Okay, so this card is going to fold down that way. And what I did, as you see, I kept my piece from the ins where I cut the inside out. Remember I said I did another one? Well, this is that other one. So I've kept this piece. And on this little piece here that we're going to do for our greeting um, is what we're going to do the hinges with. And the reason that I went ahead and did this a little bit ago is the acorn, look, I've decided to use the acorn as the doorknob to open the door. Is that not just the cutest thing? But you have to make like a puddle of white glue and let it... Um, dry and oops I broke a nail and let it dry so that's why I went ahead and did that it is just about dry so I think it's dry enough for us to work with so let me open this and I'm going to put this on the inside here so cute Remember, it, you're going to, just remember, it's folding down. We typically don't have cards going this direction. <laughs> so, there we go. There we go. And now this comes this way. And when you open the door, there's your little squirrel. <laughs> I think that's so cute. Okay, so we need to decorate the front. Okay, I've got all my... Um, leaves here cut out. So let's see what we want to do at the front. I'm going to open that up so it sits flat. Alrighty, so I want to place my leaves before I glue anything down. I want everything placed correctly. So this leaf I'm going to cover, see how it pops open right there? I'm going to cover that with this big leaf, which means I have to attach my leaf to the door so that the door can open. And you know what? I th I don't know if that's going to work. I'm going to have to Oh no. It'll be attached to to the door. The Yeah, I'm going to have to bend it anyway. 
So let's put a little bit of a crease in it. There we go. Not too sharp, just enough where it'll, it'll work. Okay. And then we're going to put a leaf up here, one here. Oh, but I didn't do my cheery little hay there. Now, I've got two ways of doing this. On this card, I did it like a little um, hanging sign. On this card, it's separate. I think with all that's going on over here, I'm going to do it separate like this. And the way that we're going to get it done like that, well, even if you wanted it up and down like this, what we do is, because it's written that way and that's not the way I want it, I'm going to put some washi tape. You can use a piece of paper and just kind of blank it off. Um, let me show you how we do that. That's probably a quicker and easier way to do it. Okay. I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to ink it up. Now, you know you can ink it even with a stamp and write marker. But I've got my hay, and I'm going to mask off from the there, and I'm going to stamp my hay. There we go. Let me clean my stamp. And now I'm going to ink up the there. And again, I'm going to mask off with this paper where I don't want anything from the hay showing. And there, I've got hay there. Alright, now I'm just going to take my snips and snip, snip. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a squirrel. Squirrels don't do things absolutely perfectly. There we go. Alright. So let's put everything together. You know, I'm really kind of worried about having that big leaf on there like that. I'm going to put this little leaf on there. The smaller leaf. I think that'll work much better. Um, I'm going to put this big leaf here at the bottom. Yes, it is going over the edges. I will trim it. And that leaf can go there very nicely. And here we just have different leaves all across the front. Let's put a hay there. Mm, hay there. I think that's good spots for it. Okay. And we'll get this leaf here. All right. I think that works out very well like that. Okay, so we're going to be using um, Stampin' Dimensionals and um, some adhesive dots. One thing I want to show you, these hinges, I didn't show you how I did that. Uh, on the Stampin' Trimmer, I took my crumb cake scrap and you see on the trimmer, it's outlined in like a dark, right? So I just put it covering the dark, the side of the track. Put it down and cut. And that is how I got this skinny, skinny little piece that I used for the hinge right there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get these glued down. I'm going to go ahead and put that there. What I did for the um, hinges, I put glue dots here and here, there and there, and put the little hinge across it. I'm going to glue this one down flat, and I'm going to put the hay there with some Stampin' Dimensionals. love these little dimensionals, how they get everything just popped up so nicely. Okay. 
and you'll see I'm covering the little bit of that um, the stem from this leaf. That's why I wanted that like that. Okay, let's go ahead and put this leaf on here. I'm just putting glue on that side of it because we're going to trim the rest of this off. Put this one up in the corner. So that one's glued down. Okay, this one we can glue right here and again we'll trim that one off. I think that looks cute. We want to put another little leaf on here. Maybe this one stamp st uh, pop it up at the dimensional. Let's see what that fit. Okay. We'll put that one there. Perfect. And now the leaf that's going on the door, we'll use a dimensional on that one. Here we go. Oh, I think that is just going to be adorable. Okay. Um, good, good. Now, are we done? Are we done? Uh, I think we are. Okay. Hey there! And you open the door and there's the little squirrel. Oh my golly, look how cute, look how cute. Nuts about you. So cute. Hope you're feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. That is so cute. The one last thing we need to do is trim off the pieces of the leaves that are over the side. There we go. And it's there. It's done. How cute is that? I love it. I hope you like it. If you like my card, would you please give me a thumbs up? And I do hope you come back and visit again. All the measurements will be listed down below, as will my website. If you want to make this card and you do not have a United States demonstrator and you need one, I'll be more than happy to help you. It's Creating with Carol. That's Carol with an E. Creating with Carol at stampinup.net. And I'll have that down below too. So thank you so much for joining me. And until the next time, keep making the world a beautiful place. Bye! Y'all, I was so excited about this door, I didn't finish my card. I have these sequins for every season, and isn't this great? It's all the different colors, and they're separated so you don't have to go digging through. Well, anyway, so I've got these sequins for every season. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some... Um, glue dots, some of these mini glue dots, and I'm going to put them all over my leaves. Yes, I am. Can you have too much? I don't know. Probably. But. And I am kind of looking at like what color I'm putting the glue dots on, you know, to try to match up one of those colors. <laughs> Silly me. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty excited about this door. I think it's so cute. Okay. Let's get these. There we go. more. Let me get one more. The reddish colors. Right there. There. Now my card is almost done. One more. Okay. And now my card is done. Got a little bit of happy sparkles all over it. <laughs> okay. Oh, God.
Golly! So, hey there! <laughs> I think this is the cutest thing. So, again, if you need an American United States demonstrator, please visit HTTPS Creating with Carol, that's C A R O L E, Creating with Carol at StampinUp.net. And until the next time, keep making the world a beautiful place. <laughs> Bye!